Mike, thanks. Well, we're watching out for you on this Friday night, and we're looking at a concern from folks living near Fort Carson who say ongoing artillery training disrupting their daily lives. They say they're, they're used to dealing with the noise a few weeks out of the year, but this training is going to continue through September. It's by Jessica Bretto in studio. Sounds like these neighbors have had enough, Jessica. They really have. They say this training happens at all hours of the day, sometimes even through the night into the early morning hours, and they're worried about whether it'll continue all summer. Meanwhile, Fort Carson says this training will happen periodically, not consistently, and they're taking note of these concerns. Abby Weilert has lived in Fountain for six years. She comes from a military family. Her dad was in the Navy. Her grandfather was in the Air Force. We're big supporters in the military, and um, it's it's kind of hard we're, we're in this position, but at some point it's kind of um, too much is too much. That point came Monday when Fort Carson announced the artillery training she's been dealing with will continue through September. When the bombs hit um, from the tanks, it almost feels like we're in a war zone at certain times at our house, um, even at night um, at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, and, you know, our windows shake, um, the dishes in the cabinets shake and it's really affecting um, how much sleep we're getting. It also affects her eight-year-old dog, Duke. He's beside himself. He doesn't know what to do. In a statement, a spokesperson for Fort Carson said in part, they're dedicated to being good neighbors and will continue to work through issues while balancing training requirements with respecting neighboring communities. Though Weilert already submitted her complaint, she's not sure what comes next. I do feel like I'm another number when I talk to Fort Carson. It makes us want to reconsider staying and fountain when we're unsure of the future. Fort Carson's public relations office also says the length of training varies with each, with each unit and they can't share specific training times because of security concerns, but they do log each complaint they receive and share it with post leadership so they can take it into consideration. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.